Jackie Thurn. Welcome to the second week of Nickel City Scene. 1994 was a great year for local music, and it looks like 95 will be even better. More bands than ever have been recording CDs, and record companies are starting to take a serious look at our area. From Buffalo to Rochester to Toronto, big things are happening in the music industry, and Nickel City Scene will be there to bring it to you. Tonight on Nickel City Scene, you'll meet the Buffalo band Nullstat. We've got a great new video from Rochester recording artist Joan Burton, plus a candid interview with Roy Staley, drummer from Kenmore's Green Jello. Nullstat has been at the front of the local music scene for over a decade. We caught up with them for a look back at 10 years of life as a Buffalo band. Today, it's, it's, it's a, an eclectic sounding rock. It's changed a lot because originally it was, it was two keyboard players and drum machine and myself. And uh, it was a techno band, it was an electronic band. It was kind of odd. People thought it was a little quirky. A little quirky. Right. And uh, it's changed a lot. Then we added uh, Kent, I think, and, and, and then Bart Mitchell, who, who played guitar. And then Greg Gizzy, the drummer, who's refuses to be on camera this evening. And then uh, Cage came, and, and so now it's a five-piece, and a lot band, and uh, it's heavier. It's heavier. Nineteen, uh, what was it, 1986 or something, we made that Mayday video with Steve Collins, was one of the original members of the band, he was a keyboard player, kind of a crazy guy, video guy. He worked at the film company in Buffalo here, and, we, and he was able to swing us a deal. We made the Mayday video at uh, Sherwin Greenberg Films, and uh, it got played on MTV uh, on their basement tape show, which, and then Night Flight 2, right, got played on, so it got some national airplay, which was cool. A few years later, we made the album Flesh, and we made the video for uh, Similar Crisis. As the world blows. It was probably the most extensive thing we've ever done in the studio. It was probably the most grandiose thing. I, I recently read all the reviews of it, and they all keep coming back to grandiose and, and, and uh, uh, full. And In some ways, it didn't capture the energy that we have as a live band. And then recently, we put on live tape to sort of capture some of that energy. And that's called? Uh, that's called uh, the Perpetual Failure Machine. Buffalo's a great, probably a great place to do what you want to do if you know what you want to do, if that makes any sense. In other words, if you know you want to play music, or you know you want to paint canvases, or as an artist, or if you know you want to be an actor, it's a great place to do this because there's, there's a venue for it. There are other people doing it also along with you. You're not alone. The only thing is you may have to reach a point where you move beyond Buffalo. I feel very comfortable being here and I would certainly like to, you know, help make a name for Buffalo by being successful. And I, would, I would think most artists or musicians or whomever, you know, would like to help the city's image by doing well. And, and helping the city do well in, in return. It's very, very hard to do that on your own. It can be done, but it takes, you know, an unbelievable effort, and that's why there's so few bands that actually, you know, make it through effort. Uh, eventually, you've got to have somebody with the butts behind you to, to support the band, and, uh, and, and of course, we're talking about a record label here. The future in Allstott, uh we just made that disc. I, I think we're going to do some different things now. I think I think we're interested in sort of changing the direction of the band, experimenting further. Success will come with faith and perseverance, but I just want to have a good time doing it, and everything else will fall into its own place. Nelstad's new cassette, The Perpetual Failure Machine, is now available at New World Records. Coming up next. Rochester's Joan Burden and a song with a strong social message.
Joan Burton has been playing in Rochester bands since the mid-80s. Here's a video from her first solo CD. The song is called Time Can't Stop the Pain. The song was inspired by the 1989 uprising in China at Tiananmen Square. Here's the video. Back, we'll check in with Mark to see what's new in our own backyard and then visit those crazy guys at the Fox next on Nickel City Scene.
Welcome to Nickel City Zine's Music News Buzz segment. I'm Mark DeVito, where each week we bring you what's really going on in the Buffalo local music scene. This week, an exclusive interview with Buffalo's own The Goo Goo Dolls, their forthcoming album, A Boy Named Goo, the new single, The Only One. We have an exclusive interview with the band. New album is uh, a lot more aggressive than the than Superstar Car Wash. Um, we used a Boston producer, Lou Giordano, who was really big in the Fort Apache sound, the Boston sound. He did he put together a couple of uh, you know uh, albums by like the Moving Targets and that. He really understood where we were coming from as far as like what kind of sound we wanted on the album. He's rubbing into the aggressive guitar sound. Yeah, he worked with he worked Sugar with Sugar and, and Husker Du for years. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> Bob and you know we've been ripping them off since the beginning, so I yeah, mean it's yeah. pretty logical to use a guy like that, I guess. <laughs> uh, so you can just, just for that extra authenticity. Yeah, there you go. You have what you have as far as being a writer, and, and you can always, always draw from different sources. I think it's a, you know, it's a matter of how honest you want to be with yourself. You know, and uh, if I felt like writing country and western on this record, that's what I would have done. You know, but I didn't. I felt like writing really aggressively. And I think the more, and I hate this word, but the more you mature as, 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 a, as a, a player and a writer, you sort of discover things that you can do that you maybe never knew you could do before, you know? Um, things that you may have wanted to do, but uh, didn't have the confidence or the uh, know-how to actually go ahead and get those things done. Superstar Car Wash was the first time we were ever in a studio, like, you know, with a big, big, humongous console and the big, you know, the big production thing, and we, we just kind of sat there with our mouths hanging open going, yeah. a bit overwhelmed. Wow, push all the buttons, yeah. you know? Use them all, light Use, everything up. Light Play. everything up, it looks so cool, you know? So it's kind of like, you know. But this time, you know, all that fascination of, of the uh, technology just sort of wore off. The new record's um, a lot more aggressive than, than our last record. It's not so polite. <clears throat> uh, I think it's a pretty fair representation of where our heads are at at, this, at that particular time that that record was made. Uh, just like all of them are, you know. I mean, that's. It's, I guess that's why they call them albums, because it's. Um, because they're albums. A document of where you are at that particular you time go. in your life. We are progressing. We'll continue forward at at at. You know, at a real good rate. We we uh, don't have an, a person who is officially a third member of the band. We have hired someone to come out and do some shows with us and do the tour and stuff like that. And, yeah. But we're still together. Yeah, we're still we're together. We're still doing the tour. We're got, I mean, we're going to be touring for probably 12 to 16 months on this record. We've always done our best for, for Buffalo, and, 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 you know, this is still our hometown, and, you know, I mean, we love it here. It's our home, and, and we believe in, <coughs> in the people here, and I hope they still believe in us, and, you know, that's really important to us. Well, there you have it. Nickel City Scene brought it to you. The Goo Goo Dolls, the new album, A Boy Named Goo. And look for on future episodes of Nickel City Scene, the only one, the very first single. We have it before MTV and before VH1. <laughs> so stay tuned. If you're in a band in the Buffalo area having a music video, producing something really cool, and want to get on the air, contact Nickel City Scene, and we'll do our best to get you on the air. That's the way I see it. And we'll see you next week. Like Dude, I'm telling you, man, draft beer will do that to you. Hey, how you doing? We're uh, Shred and Reagan from 103.3 The Fox, and welcome to another edition of 103.3 The Fox's Overmodulator. Today we got the Crash Test Dummies as our Fox Buzz Clip of the Week. Mm -hmm. Here we are at Shays. I mean, look at this place. Oh. All the marble, chandeliers, big stairways, bouquet of flowers, and... You dress like you just got done filming a Fisherman Friends cough drop commercial. What's what? the deal? You couldn't what? dress up? What, like we're going to interview Elvis or something? It's Shays, man. I got a tux, a tie, a little bit of class. Yeah, what dead uncle did you rip that off well, of? I got it from the funeral home, and I got to have it back by nine, so let's hurry up. Besides it, these guys are like scraggly Canadians. Like, they care what we look like. Wait, are these the guys that do the mmm good song, the yeah. soup one? Mm -hmm. What's up with that? I have no idea. Come on, let's go find out. Hey, you know, I wonder if they look anything like the kid on the can with the big cheeks. Big lick. Of your, yeah. All right, we're here now with Brad Roberts from uh, Crash Test Dummies. Brad, how you doing? 
Very, very well. How All right. You? So let, let's let's get right to this here, Brett, about uh, about Winnipeg. You guys, how did you get out of Winnipeg? Yeah, I mean, the Jets can't even get out of Winnipeg for away games. <laughs> well, uh, we actually still live in Winnipeg for the most part, but uh, we haven't been there in about a year, of course, because we've been uh, doing nothing but bloody well touring. Probably, probably a good thing for your health, then. Yeah, it's a very good thing for my health. It's kind of like a little tropical tour to south then for you, huh? Um, yeah, yeah. Buffalo is definitely just uh, paradise as far as like... Got the shorts on and everything like that. All right, Brett, let's talk a little bit about the uh, the name itself, the crash test dummies. Mm. Yeah, I mean, how'd you get that? Do you guys drive Volvos or what? Um, actually, no. We uh, cooked up the name uh, years ago when we were but uh, young lads uh, doing the band as a recreational activity, and it was frankly just a jest at the time. <laughs> young, foolish lads, eh? Mm, yes, yes. So, how do you feel about airbags? Um, I've never been in a car that's not uh, 10 years old, so... Now, about that Um 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 song, the Um 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 song has been big. It has kind of helped you guys out. Uh, the, the, the impetus, where did you where did you think of this uh, song? Yeah, do you drink a lot of soup or eat a lot of Campbell's soup growing up? You know, that mm, mm good. Uh, no, that, I gotta tell you, that actually had very little to do with what was going on in the course. <laughs> you ran out of words, right? Uh, mm, 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 no. Exactly. Uh, seriously, what is it about? Um, well, the, the chorus just seemed to work better without words because the verses did the job of saying what they had to say, and I figured, why belabor the point and hammer the listener over the head after all? Shred and Reagan next week. Coming up, an exclusive interview with the band from Kenmore, Green Jello, right here on Nickel City Scene. Nickel City Scene is brought to you by Pepsi, by Zappers, World of Electronic Games, by Santangelo's, by FWS, and by Mighty Taco. Green Jello has come a long way from their humble beginnings as a quirky band from Kenmore. Their second CD is out and going strong. They even got a thumbs up from Kiss's Gene Simmons, as you're about to see. All right, Hollywood! You wanted the worst band, and you got the worst! The biggest piece of shit I've ever seen! Oh, well, we're all of us. I mean, the whole band is inspired from KISS. Everyone's like huge KISS fans and stuff. And um, they got wind of, you know, uh, their, our liking for them or whatever and stuff. And uh, Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons came to our a show we played at the Hollywood Palace and uh, came on stage with us and everything. And it was just, it was incredible. Well, one of the riffs on the, on the, in the middle part of the song has this uh, duplicate kind of sound as Enter the Sandman. So even in the, even in the lyrics we said, I know we sound like Metallica, I mean, it was just a joke. Right. But of course, you know, those poor, those guys in Metallica, they need the money so much, so they just took 10,000 bucks off us. <laughs> Somehow, one of the videos got in the hands of a, a DJ in Seattle who thought it was like, who pl played the Pigs video and thought, this is, this 3 old Pig song is like the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, and hated it. And so he put it, he made a copy of just the audio and he put it on his local, alternative show and just the phone just lit up and it just started from there within two weeks it was like the number one requested song so they said you better get up to seattle and play some play a show everyone you know you're really a hit over there and we did we played that show and it just it's just seemed to spread all over the country well we have all, many different phases we have a production company that we built on sunset boulevard in hollywood and it's uh, we from there we do all our own work we do our music videos we do the artwork for the record we recorded our latest 333 record 
in the studio. We brought in a 24 track mobile truck and just did the album there. And we do a, we're gonna do a CD-ROM game, working on a TV pilot. We have all several projects coming out of our company. And, we, and every, all the members of the band work in the company. That's a wrap for this show. Next week you'll meet the band Kama Sutra from Niagara Falls. We've got a cool new video from the Cheshire Cat. And can Buffalo musicians ski? Shred and Reagan will be along to show us. We created Nickel City Scene for you. If your band doesn't already have a music video, what are you waiting for? Make one and send it in. The address is Nickel City Scene, Care of the Media Center, 2001 Main Street, Buffalo, New York, 14208. Here's Buffalo's Marvelous Sauce. The song is called Move On Living. See you next week. Quiet. The diamond.